Okay, um, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, lesson three in polynomials. We're going to start to talk about how to find all the factors and all the solutions. So we're going to go ahead and write this at the bottom. Factors, solutions, okay. All right, now, they're telling us x plus 1 is a factor. So I can automatically put that here. And I know that solution is x equals negative 1, okay. Now, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to use synthetic division. So I got x cubed, x squared, x in number. So 6, 5, negative 3, negative 2. All right. That's 6 uh, plus 0 is 6. That would be negative one, uh, 6. That's negative 1. That's positive 1. That's negative 2. That's positive 2. That's 0. And that's what I should get because it's telling me it is a factor. So this is x cubed. This is x squared, x in number. So what I want to try to do with this is to see if I can factor, okay? So I want to see if I can factor that. Well, that times that is negative 12, okay? The factors of negative 12 that would add up to negative 1 would be negative 4 and 3. So I got 6x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 2. Uh, GCF here would be 3x. This would be 2x. This would be 1. And this would have to be negative 2. So my other factors are... 3x minus 2, 2x plus 1, okay? The solution for that would be 2 thirds. The solution for that would be negative 1 half. So if you can factor that, that ends up being the best way of doing that, okay? On to the next one. All right, they're telling me we're finding all the factors and solutions. The factors and solutions. And they're giving me a clue that x equals 4 is a solution. That would mean that x minus 5 has got to be one of the factors. So I'm going to put 4 in the half boxes. All right. We've got x cubed, x squared, x in number. Okay. So that's going to be 1, negative 7, 2, and 40. Okay. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 times uh, 4. Okay. It's going to be negative 3. Negative 3 times that is negative 12. It's negative 10. It's negative 40. That's 0. That's right. Okay. So now this is going to be 1x squared minus 3x minus 10. All right. 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. Factors of negative 10 that would add up to be negative 3 or negative 5 and 2. x squared minus 5x plus 2x minus 10. This would be x, x times x, x times positive 2, x times negative 5. So here are my other factors. And the solutions out of that are 5. Okay. All right, you guys go ahead and try those. Okay. <clears throat> Find all factors and solutions where that's a factor. Okay. So I got factor, solution. Okay. So I got x plus 5. That means x equals negative 5. Okay, I got x cubed, x squared, x number. So that's 3, 17, 3, negative 35. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 times that, negative 15. That'd be 2. Negative 7, 35. Okay, so this would be 3x squared plus 2x minus 7. Now, if I multiply that, I get 21. Now, here's the problem. Here are the factors of 21. None of those are going to add up to 2, okay? So what that means is when they can't factor, when you can't get that smaller, that automatically becomes the other factor. And to get the solution from that, you now have to do the quadratic formula. And as a reminder, here's what the quadratic formula is. Okay? So what you want to find first is the b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so that's 2 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 7. Okay, that's going to be 4 minus uh, 4 times 3 times negative 7 would be negative 84. Would give me 88. Okay, so I got negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 88 all over 2 times 3. Now I break down 88. Okay. 88 is 2 and 44, 2 and 22, 2 and 11. There's my pair. 
So I'd get negative 2 plus or minus 2, square root of 11, all over 6. All three of those can be divided by 2. So what I get out of that is negative 1 plus or minus 1, square root of 11, all over 3. Okay? So if you cannot factor it, you use the quadratic formula. If you can factor it, it's much easier to do. Okay? <clears throat> all right? Find this one, where x equals negative 5 is a solution. All right? So factors, solutions x equals negative 5. That means x plus 5 is a factor. x cubed, x squared, x a number. 27, 135, 8, and 40. Okay, so 0, 27, 27, negative 135, 0, 0, 8, negative 40, 0. Okay, now, what would this That's not correct. I don't think that's the right problem. I think this, hold on, this is not the correct problem. That's not the correct problem. Whoops, hold on. Well, this should be a four. Okay. Yeah, hold up. Let's clear this out. Sorry about that. So this should be x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, x a number. See if that works out. So that's a zero, one thirty-five, eight, forty. Okay. <clears throat> So 27 times negative 5, negative 135. That's not right. Uh, oh, that's what it is. This is a cube, sorry. This is a cube. This is x. Sorry, right. that makes more sense. I know I've done this problem before. It was okay. So sorry. Sorry about that. So that's gonna be x cubed. x cubed, x squared, x in number. So that's 135, that's negative 135, that's 0, 8, and 40. That's right. 0, 0 times that is 0, 0, 0, 8, 8 times that is negative 40, 0. Okay? So what this is going to be is x cubed, x squared, x number remaining. Okay? Now, so I got 27x cubed plus 8. Now we should be able to factor that now. Okay, that's going to be, okay, I got plus, minus, plus, cube root of this, cube root of this, that's 3x and 2. 3x times what would give me 27x cubed, that's 9x squared. 2 times what would give me 8, which is 4. Multiply those would give me 6x. Now, this one's an easy solution, that's negative 2 thirds. This one, and we talked about this when we did the factoring, that's a quadratic formula question. Okay, so let's do the b squared minus 4ac for this, okay? All right, so <clears throat> that's negative 6 squared minus 4 times 9 times 4, okay? So it's 36 minus 4 times 9 times 4 is 144, okay? 36 minus 144 is negative 108, okay? So I'd have to break down negative 108. Well, we talked about that already. 2 and 54, 2 and 27, 3 and 9, 3 and 3. Pair, pair. Now, the other thing is, since there's a negative square root, okay, I'm going to have to have a plus or minus 6i, square root of 3. The opposite of this would be 6, and this would be 2 times 9, 
which would be 18, okay? If you look at all three of those things, they call all be divisible by three. So it's two plus or minus two i, uh, square root of three, all over, um, check that, they call be divisible by six. Okay, so that's one plus or minus one i, square root of three, all over three. Okay, all right, so that's that. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't make a mistake with this one. So I got a solution. Factors. Solutions. So they're telling me x minus 2 is a factor, so I know x equals 2 is a solution. That number's going to go in the half box. squared term. 1 times that is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Negative 27 times that is negative 54. That is 0. So this is x to the fourth. This is x cubed. x squared. x a number. So this is 1x cubed minus 27. Okay. Minus, plus, and plus. Cube root of 1x cubed is 1x. Cube root of 27 is 3. 1x times 1x squared gives me that. Negative 9, 3 times 9 gives me that. If I multiply those, it gives me 3x. Okay, so the solution out of that is 3. And I'm going to do the quadratic formula for that. Okay, I got negative 3 plus or minus. Uh, b squared minus 4ac. So that's going to be 3 squared minus 4 times 9 times... Um, no, sorry, 1 times 9. So that's going to be 9 minus 36, which is negative 27, all over 2 times 1. If I break down negative 27, that's uh, 3 and 9, 3 and 3. Also, because it's got a negative square root, i got the i on the outside, so 3i square root of 3, all over uh, um, 2 times 1, which is 2. That's correct. 36, 9, 2 times 1, yep, is 2. So I got x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 all over 2. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and you guys. Go ahead and you guys practice, um, practice those. All right? So, uh, no clues, rational root theorem, okay? All right, let's say they give you no clues. Let's talk about what the rational root theorem says. It's plus and minus, factors <coughs> of your last number divided by the factors of your leading number. So my last number here is two. What are the factors of two? One and two. What are my leading numbers? Six. Factors of six. One, two, three, and six. So the idea is I divide all these by one. So one divided by one is one. Two divided by two is two. So possibilities for answers are those. <clears throat> then I'm going to divide it by two. One divided by two is a half. Two divided by two is a one. That's already there. Now I'm going to divide them all by three. 1 divided by 3 is 1 third, 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds. Then I'm going to divide them all by 6. So 1 divided by 6 is 1 6, 2 divided by 6 is 1 third. So these are your possibilities of answers that can work. And in our next lesson, we're going to talk about how we use those. Now, the Descartes sign test. Here's what you do. You look for sign changes. Okay, so this is stays positive, stays positive. Then it goes from positive to negative. So that's one change. And then it stays negative. So in this case, the amount of sign changes represents the number of possible positive zeros. 
So in this case, I would have one. So one positive okay, possibility. Now, if you look at the degree, I have three. So that's going to be probably two negative. Okay? So you want to have an idea of the, that. Okay? All right? So this one, we're going to use the rational root theorem. So plus and minus, factors of 12. One, and tw uh, one two, three, four, six, and 12. Factors of five, one and five. Divide all these by one. Well, that's easy. It's just itself. Divide all these by five. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five, uh, six fifths, 12 fifths. These are all the possible solutions, okay? Now, let's count the sign changes. That's positive, positive to negative one, negative to positive two. All right, that's another sign change. All right, it stays positive. So I got two positives. So since it's degree three, I'm looking at one negative. And that's going to help me with my guessing, okay, uh, in the next lesson. Okay, let's say this one. This is going to be plus and minus, the rational root theorem. One, two, uh, four, eight, 16, 32. And then I got... 1 and 3, plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 4, plus and minus 8, plus and minus 16, plus and minus 32. Now divide all of them by a third, a 3. 1 third, 2 thirds, 4 thirds, 8 thirds, 16 thirds, 32 over 3. Okay? <clears throat> as far as the signs go, this is positive, so one side change, so one positive. Since it is degree three, we're looking at two negatives, okay? All right? <clears throat> so those are your possibilities. More likely, we get to this, you're gonna to wanna to guess negatives, all right? Okay, and is that the one? Okay, so what I want you guys to do is go ahead and try that one, okay? Go ahead and um, tell me the possible rational roots and the, um, uh, the, the, the possible positives and names.